In this workshop, we'll be learning how to paint this absolutely beautiful girl who is surrounded by these dreamy magical flowers full of gold leaf and glitter. And then there's this little bird flying towards that beautiful girl, creating and weaving a story of dreams and reflections because that is the topic or the theme that we are following for this month at Adishal's Art Academy. So before I go ahead and share anything more about this workshop, I would like to give a very little introduction about myself. Just in case you don't know me, my name is Shilpa and I am also known as Adishal's on the internet and I am your host and instructor for this workshop to know more about me more of my works or everything else I do you can check out my website www.arishas.com and now back again to what we will be doing in this workshop in this workshop while following the theme of reflections and dream we will be learning how to paint this painting in a very detailed step-by-step -step way so even if you are a beginner you will be able to paint this painting with me we will first get started by understanding all the techniques that we'll be using in this painting and then we will move on to learning the basics of drawing that we will need for this painting and then slowly step by step we will be creating this entire acrylic painting and mixed media on canvas where we'll be using so many different not only acrylic painting techniques but various mixed media techniques as well to get the results that we want in the end you will be left with a lot of knowledge about the entire process Process, all the techniques that we've used how we used and how to apply those techniques on any of your paintings but in the end you will also be left with this absolutely gorgeous painting that you will love displaying either in your homes or you can just gift it to your loved ones or your friends that's completely your choice but no matter where your painting ends up the process will definitely bring you a lot of learning experience and joy so that's definitely my goal and i'm so excited to take you forward with this class now as i said earlier that this class revolves around the subject of reflections and dreams so let's talk about what do I mean by reflections and dreams? So reflections and dreams means thinking about things that happened before and imagining things that might happen in the future. It's like looking back at your memories and also looking forward to exciting possibilities. For example, when you remember a special day from the past, that's a reflection. On the other hand, dreaming is when you think about what you want to achieve or experience in the future. Like imagining yourself traveling to new places or learning a new skill. Together, reflections and dreams create a balance between learning from the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. So this is what I think reflections and dreams are. You are learning from the past but at the same time looking forward in the future. But when I had to think of how I would like to portray this on my canvas, portraying my feelings or portraying my on that canvas this is the painting I came up with so when I was thinking of what to portray or how to picture this theme of, of reflection and dream on my canvas my intuition guided me towards creating this humble girl who stands between these beautiful roses and peonies that she is surrounded by and as she is between these beautiful flowers. A bird gracefully glides toward her. She feels this very strong emotion like a mix of gratitude and hope. And she also feels her vulnerable emotions. Surrounded by the fragrant flowers, she recognizes that there is beauty in simple things and strength found in humility. The flight of the bird resembles the reminder that dreams need not be grand to be meaningful. So while she's standing in this deeply emotional space, she embraces the idea that even the most delicate aspiration or even the most littlest of dreams take flight. If they don't have to be really big, they don't have to be extraordinary. If you believe in something, let your inner heart take a flight towards that humble dream. And you know, trying to capture 
this emotion really filled me with inspiration and made me believe looking in my past reflecting in my past how it was just the small steps and the humble dreams that have taken me forward and instead of just crushing myself or just overthinking about the big things that i need to achieve just you know look at the small things in the future and then just step by step keep moving forward with my own authentic self so yeah this was my little interpretation of reflections and dreams and it was important for me to tell you this story so that you can know how i am connecting the theme that i'm choosing to create a picture that i believe in on the canvas and to create my story story on the canvas and speak my story on the canvas without using any words now this was my interpretation of the canvas the viewer who is looking at the canvas if i don't tell them the description they can just imagine their own story they can have their own connection that they can feel through this painting that connection that anybody feels through the work that i am creating it's totally very personal to them and it's totally fine but this was my story that i was thinking of that i was trying to reflect on this canvas so when you are also creating your own painting and you would like to share what you are feeling through your canvas just think of how you can tell your story through your brush stroke sometimes you will just get the story sometimes you will just know what you want to share on the canvas but sometimes you just follow your intuition and while you are on the way you might get the story or anything that your subconscious mind or your inner self has been trying to say or sometimes you can get it after you are done with the painting as well sometimes you might just not know what you're trying to say through your painting you'll just know that when you are done with the painting so yeah this was just my little story behind this painting i had so much fun creating this painting and i really hope that you will join the class you will enjoy the class with me and you will have fun recreating this painting with me there's a community section as well at adishal's art academy just in case you would like to share your painting you can share it on the community section or you can always share it with me as well privately maybe on instagram or you can email me or there's a contact button on my website as well just in case you want to share privately but while you are working on this workshop if you have any questions or if you need any help i'm always there to answer your questions and help you out so with that being said thank you so much i will see you there in this class so let's see you next time bye and happy creating bye